You said you want to talk about your beliefs about money. Yeah. So tell me about that. Um, okay, it's kind of an anxiety mm -hmm. about money. And I originally thought, okay, it's, it's a weird belief. Hmm. Um, and I was talking to my wife about it, and what seemed to be the case was it's actually it's two fears. Mm -hmm. And they're... Uh, they're sort of competing. Okay. So the, the fear of money is not having enough, not being able to pay my taxes, going yeah. to jail, dying, whatever, you know. So there's that kind of, there's all that fear stuff, mm -hmm. which then makes me want to get really organized about money, get on top of it, mm -hmm. which I'm not. Um, but then the other fear I have is that if I do all that, then I won't have a life. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to do what I want to do. Right. And I think the reason I got to that was because of my experience with my father, mm -hmm. who had to sort out all sorts of financial stuff mm -hmm. for his father. Mm. Um, and he got so good at it that the local branch of the Inland Revenue, which is the equivalent of the IRS mm -hmm. in England, right. eventually asked him to come and work for them uh -huh. because he got so good at uh -huh. working everything out. Okay. But I saw what that took out of him, uh -huh. and the time and so energy it took. So it became a grind for him, and yeah. Just and I saw that he didn't. Mm -hmm. He kind of lost his joy about life, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. didn't and ended up not doing anything that he wanted to do at mm -hmm. all. Hmm. So when I when I think about money, I get these those two pictures. I get going to jail or you know whatever something horrible, mm -hmm. unspecified, which comes as a a literal physical feeling here mm -hmm. and then I move towards doing something about it and then I go going to lose my life if I get into this then yeah. I'm going to end up like my dad and not have my life right and also there's a kind of uh, what happens if I do look at it would it be so bad if you do look at what if I do look at my money situation in real detail and start getting to grips with it uh -huh. will it be so bad that I'll just, it'll just put me into complete despair and I'll end up jumping off a building. A friend of mine uh, had trouble balancing her checkbook. And at a certain point she realized that the checkbook was what allowed her to go out in the wilderness and do what she loved, which was hiking and going out in the wilderness and so on. So what she did was she imagined writing, balancing her checkbook, and as she did, she heard the cry of a hawk. Do you know that sound? Mm -hmm. It's a lovely, interesting sound, mm. very unique. And that linked for her that balancing the checkbook was a way of building a foundation, a financial basis, for her to go out and do what she loved. I don't know just what form that might take for you, but if you could somehow okay. link, do you understand what I'm going for? Yeah, I got the sound too, which is, okay. uh, I was thinking, oh, that sound of a hawk, I could really use that, that's a great sound. Okay. And then what I got was the, um, the bell, they sound at the, with the last lap. Uh-huh. Okay. So how can you link those together so that the um, working out your finances is, a, is one of those steps on the path to the bell and the last lap, the, the passion that you have for running? How can you put those together in your mind? You'd probably mm -hmm. be much more... Uh, apt than I would, any suggestions I can make. I can yeah, I don't know why, it's, re it's really emotional. Okay. I assume that's good. We've got some Kleenex here if you need it. Yeah, I can't see why that's having such an effect, but... Well, don't have to understand it all.
Well, I mean, that, that seems to be linked very strongly. Okay. So you've got that link now between the working the finances out and that being a, a way to build a financial foundation for doing Well, I've got it specifically writing, you know, balancing my checkbook or writing check, which I don't do. Okay. Um, and that sound. Okay. And the emotion that goes with it. Okay. So how's the thing going with the finances? <clears throat> um, uh, Good-ish. Good-ish. Okay. Um, in the sense that there was, there was, a, there has been a change. Mm -hmm. um, I got myself an accountant. Okay. So that, you know, that was quite a step. Um, I've noticed that the 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 thing about the the, the technique that you gave me. Which, mm -hmm. which, which was to associate the financial stuff with the sound of a, a bell mm -hmm. at the last lap of a running so that it would integrate with my right. the stuff that I really care about. Right. The trick with it, I noticed, is that you actually have to remember to use it. Uh -huh. Like it's not automatic. Not automatic yet? No. Okay. So, <laughs> 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 so um, it kind of, I, there's, a, there's still a, <clears throat> what would you call it? There's still like a kind of a motivation gap mm -hmm. where um, I'm, I'm certainly I'm, I'm looking at stuff to do with finances and I feel stuck mm -hmm. and then I have to make the decision to okay. run the run the bell in, or, or run that pattern if you like. Okay. And sometimes I don't I don't get to do it and okay. I kind of forget or okay. it's just not there. Well, what would make it easy for you to remember that, assuming you want to? Now, it might be totally appropriate. It might be that if you had the bell totally automatic, you'd be like you, you joked to me that, that evening, that you were afraid that you'd be running a race and hear the bell and then suddenly say, oh, stop, I've got to do my taxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so there might be some concern about it being too automatic. Yeah. Uh, but, if you can, uh, but if you want it to be automatic, I'm sure it can be. Mm-hmm. Now, everything that we do is uh, contextual. Like, you don't, you don't want to stop in the middle of the race mm -hmm. and, and do, your, do your taxes. And there might be other things that you are more important to you at a certain time, so you're not okay. that motivated to, to do whatever the financial stuff needs to be done. Um, <clears throat> but if you want it to be automatic, I don't know any reason why it couldn't be. Well, now you've explained it, I'm pretty sure I don't want it to be automatic. I do want the choice. <laughs> so. Okay, great.